In today's video, guys, we are going to be taking a little bit of a deep dive into some of the $1,500 and up Pokemon sales on eBay. This sort of just popped into my mind, and I was just curious, like, what higher-end stuff, $1,500 and up, have been, like, just has been selling? I was just curious. I don't usually typically deal in large $1,500 plus items, but it does intrigue me, and I thought we could dive into it um, together. So keep in mind that uh, this is as of June 28th. I'm recording this a day early because my birthday's tomorrow, so we only have uh, sales up to the 28th. But I do think that some of this stuff is fascinating. So uh, first up, we got a a uh, Neo Destiny Shining Charizard 1500 crossed out, so we don't know what that actually sold for, but that's obviously always a cool card. That's crazy. Some people are insane. Yeah, I, I typically deal with like a um, little bit lower end than 1500 for the most part. Oh my gosh, we might have to click on this one. So this was a huge lot that went for 1700 crossed out. Just a complete, massive, huge collection buyout. So that's interesting. Uh, let's see what else. We got an Entei first edition CGC 10, $2,500 crossed out. This is on the 28th. Oh, that is cool to see. Man, I do love that artwork on that card. Next up, we got the uh, Dark Dragonite. Uh, it's a no hollow error, CGC 9, 1550 crossed out. Then, oh my gosh, look at this. This is a big collection right here. 10K collection and incredible condition, they're saying, for $7,000. Wow. Then, with some more modern stuff, I've got a Masquerade uh, near complete master set. Just needs one SIR and one Ultra. Went for 15 50 that is crazy that greninja card has been just taken off then we got a case of evolving skies first print forty two hundred dollars wow that is cool base set theme deck factory sealed for fifteen hundred we got a shadowless blastoise um, blister pack supposedly heavy at eighteen hundred wow Got a near mint munch Mimikyu. Dude, that is crazy. I honestly it, for those of you that are into this, these like props to you, but those cards are so expensive, that's insane. Um then we got another collection. A, a Charizard heavy collection on the first. We're not gonna dive too deep into this, but went for ten five cross out their set they're claiming fifth whoops, fifteen K value. Interesting. And we got a Suicune to go with that Entei from earlier, first edition. Got a 9.5. I'm not familiar with this grading company, but 1998 crossed out. Game Boy Advance right here. Getting a little different. I like this is kind of why I wanted to do a little video like this. Just do a little bit different. We see other aspects of the market, right? So I think it's really interesting. Kyogre Game Boy from uh, Pokemon Center Japan. A Grail, supposedly. Hadn't really seen this, to be honest. I'm not super in depth with all the different Game Boys, but 1,700 bucks. Woo! Now this is crazy. I don't even know what this is. Custom order invoice, blah blah blah. Tons of boosters. It looks like that's insane. Then this is crazy. We might have to. We'll, we'll click on this one. This is a Tiffany Charmander necklace. You can see that's what it looks like. Went for 1,700 dollars. Absolutely insane. Got a vintage collection for fifteen hundred. We got another Evolving Skies case at four grand. Evolving Skies case at four grand. Popular set. Oh, this is interesting. Full Master Ball reverse of the Japanese one fifty one set for forty four hundred. Crossed out. Wonder what that went for. That's interesting. Wow, complete Master Ball set. Well, full set with the Master Balls. Yeah. Wow. It's crazy. Then we got some different stuff here. Um, Chinese, uh, simplified Chinese tag team. So I, simplified Chinese, maybe don't sleep on it, guys. I like seeing stuff like this too. You got a little Pokemon Emerald, uh, Game Boy Advance sealed. It's graded an 80, wow. Dude, $15,000. This is a cool, uh, we got a Pikachu here. I'm not familiar with this card to be completely honest, but two grand in a PSA 10. That's crazy. Gold Star Charizard and a BGS 8.5, 26.50. I 
man, it is cool to see, like, sometimes uh, it can be frustrating checking out listings like this, you know, if you don't quite have, like, that kind of capital to be spending. Like, I, I don't have capital to be dropping 1700 on a poncho right now, but I try not to get, like, depressed about it. <laughs> I try and just appreciate it, you know, and maybe maybe one day I can up my, my uh, collection goals to this. Here's something interesting that we were kind of talking about. I don't think uh, the this is sequential like we were talking about before, but 3300 for first edition CGC 10 um, evolutions. Wow, 3300. That is crazy. Now this I might have to check this out. This is Jim Harrow's first edition complete set. 132 out of 132. Wow, so 4300 um, US dollars. Wow. Now that is cool. See, this is why I like doing this, just because it's not very often that you would probably see a complete set like this. I mean, here's the lesser pictures, but you're not going to see that go very often. And I just enjoy, um, you know, checking out stuff that I'm not familiar with. You know, like I, I'm not. Oh, we got the Mario and uh, Luigi Pikachu boxes. 10 grand for both it's insane this is all we're still on today right now right uh this is a fire red leaf green nearly complete set for two grand 1997 it's crazy now we're into yesterday's some of yesterday's sales we got the uh the umbreon here for jeez man it is just crazy how some of these cards can carry these prices now this is interesting this is a Dratini leather bag that went for twenty one fifty. Are you serious? <laughs> I mean, if you guys look, they're handling it with gloves. If you guys are into this, like that's cool. But dang, I could think of a lot of other ways I'd rather spend twenty one fifty. Whew! Instead of on a Dratini bag, although that is cool. I do like. I do respect it, right? We got a dark Raichu. First edition PSA 10 went for 5600 That is awesome. Jim Heroes Japanese uh, sealed 60 packs for just under six grand. Dang, wouldn't that be fun to rip? We got another large collection here. Looks like we got some boxes, some gr first edition 3200 Now this is a horrible picture for this listing. Just a bunch of binders for three grand. Uh, we got one of the coolest Gengars here. We got the Legendary Collection Gengar in a PSA 9 1900. This was a... Oh my gosh, really? This is insane. That right there is insane. We got a Moonbryon. Japanese Moonbryon went for 1510. We got a Jungle Set Air Hollow PSA 8 set. That's interesting. Wow. Oh, and then... Here we go. See, I mean, everyone's seen this card by this point, but it's still cool just to see what price they're going. Once again, don't know this grading company. These are weird grading companies, but twenty-three fifty for a ten. I could imagine that that would, if it was on a PSA slab, that'd go for a lot more. Then we got a nine of the Japanese uh, first edition Dragon Frontier as well. Twenty-six hundred. We got another Tiffany. Um, We'll check it out. This was two grand. This is it says Pikachu. We can kind of see it right here. It's not the best photo either. These people need to take better photos. This is a Tiffany Pikachu necklace. Two grand. That is crazy. Absolutely crazy. What else do we got here? We're gonna check out this uh, Crystal Charizard Japanese. Got the e-reader uh, in a PSA nine forty four hundred. Uh, we got a XY box here, first edition, two grand. Then we got 2021, what is this? Creatures deck, 2000 Sneasel for $2,100. Got another Mew. Uh, 2003 unopened promo, 1600 Now that is cool. That is very cool. I like that. It's a cool card. We got another Umbreon here. This is the uh, Japanese one in a 10. Another 1500 seems to be consistent price. I was wondering how often these would be selling, so this is interesting to check out. These two here, we have the uh, first edition Shadowless Zard uh, in a six, that looks like, for 2,600, and then an eight bumped up to 3,600 sales here. So that is interesting. Then we got the uh, the Skyridge 
Zard in English, 15k people. Can you imagine? Some of you might. Let me know. Let me know in the comments if you guys are on this level. I know some of you guys are close. I, I, you know, I read the comments. I see you guys. Nothing wrong with it. I respect it. I'm just not there yet. You know, I got to work up to it. Now this is 50 Eevees and 50 Pikachus. So 100 cards total. Let's check out what, the, what cards these are. This is a $1,500 sale of Pikachu on the ball and Eevee on the ball. Now, I am not familiar with these cards. And I don't know how one would acquire so many of these promos. But that is absolutely crazy. Another gold star Zard here, twenty nine fifty. This, you know, you see what seeing what's selling. It seems to be popular. We got another as a Japanese um, World Championship promo in a pristine ten twenty eight fifty. Now this, I have no idea what this is. Piggy bank, piggy bane, one of one plaid variant, big four Charizard. Now that seems, wow. Now that is cool looking. I will admit that that is awesome looking. I don't know where this came from. I don't know why it's so expensive, but I kind of want it. I'm not going to lie. We got another uh, first edition Italian Zard. 4,200 crossed out. Interesting. Ooh. All right. Now this is, uh, we're going to end it on these last two here. We'll we'll talk about this. Uh, we got another Shadowless uh, first edition Zard. BGS7. 74.50. So that, whew, that's a big sale right there. But this one actually caught my eye more. This is very interesting. If you guys see this card, you know we've talked about this card before on the channel. This is this is the Mewtwo from from Crown Zenith, right? It's just a it's a Galarian Gallery card, but we got the Beckett Pristine 10. $3,000. Are you guys kidding me? Man, it might be worth trying to get some pristine tens. I mean, if, even if you submit a lot of cards, but you finally hit it, it's definitely going to pay off. Three grand for this card? Are you guys serious? Well, we're ending it with a potential grading play for you guys if you guys are looking for <laughs> making some big money. You can turn that Mewtwo into a $3,000 card. Well, that's going to do it for this one, guys. I just wanted to make this video because I'm not going to be able to do anything tomorrow, and I just wanted to do something a little different, and I do enjoy it. Uh, I did a few live streams in the past of kind of doing something similar to this, but not that many people were tuning into the live stream, so I just kind of wanted to share, like, uh, just browse on eBay because I just think it's fun. I'm on there all the time, so I figured I might as well just make a video, and I like seeing what's selling. So I think it helps it helps me gauge the market, what people are paying, what's selling, what's not. And, you know, I know we were looking at higher-end items. Let me know if you want to look at uh, what price range. You know, we can dive into lower stuff. We can dive into more niche stuff. Just let me know. Uh, I'm happy to do some more videos on it, but that's going to do it for this one. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Remember, it was never phase.